New at five, a California man is in custody after allegedly being found with multiple weapons in his car near the Democratic National Committee headquarters in Washington, D.C. No word yet on whether the incident has anything to do with a rally planned for this coming Saturday in D.C. by supporters of the people charged with the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more. U.S. Capitol Police officers responded to a suspicious vehicle outside the Democratic Party headquarters on Capitol Hill. They found a truck with swastikas and no license plate. They arrested the driver, a 44-year-old California man, when they found a bayonet and a machete inside. Security is high on Capitol Hill, ahead of a planned rally for this Saturday. Protesters overcome the police. In support of the people arrested for storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Intelligence suggests several hundred people, including far-right extremist groups such as the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers, are planning to attend. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger briefed congressional leaders from both parties Monday morning. They gave us a good briefing. They're handling this in a very professional, thorough way, and I think they're much better prepared than things were before January 6th. Capitol Police will be able to utilize these newly installed security cameras, which are on loan from the military. The cameras provide a 360 degree view both day and night. They're also bringing back the security fencing, which was put in place in the aftermath of the January 6th attack. The fence will go up uh, a day or two before, and, and if everything goes well, it'll go down, it'll come down uh, very soon after. Meanwhile, court cases against those charged in the assault continue. A grand jury indicted 33-year-old Landon Copeland of Utah. He's facing 11 charges, including two counts of assaulting police officers. He's accused of using a piece of metal fencing to attack an officer, as well as those who came to the officer's rescue. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. More than 580 defendants have been arrested and more than 30 have pleaded guilty since January 6. Charges include assaults on officers, destruction of government property and conspiracy.